Let's talk about building a template. So we go up to the top left hand corner, click on edit, templates. Let's build a, a short template so you can get the handle on how this is done. Go up to templates, click add new, new template name. We'll just call that job number one. Save. And again, it does the same thing we did in the assembly. It jumps right to the assembly list. And now we're going to go through and I'm going to pick about seven or eight things here just real quick and make a template out of them. So I'm going to go down and I'm going to pick on plans for a room edition. Double click on that, type in. Now what I'm going to do here, I just about screwed up on that. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to type in zero and I'm going to hit save and it's going to ask me, should we add this to the template? Okay. I'm going to come on further down and I'm going to go to permits. Again, I'm going to type in zero, save. Okay. Then I'm going to come down here to demolition and I'm going to click on this one and zero and save. Okay. I've taken out four or five line items now. Close. I go over here and click on job one, number 10. Those are the items I took off. I took off five items and you can see every one of them are zeroed out just as they should be. Plans, permit, turret insulation, four inch perimeter perforated drain line, and a new beam over the uh, framed area to be worked on. Okay, that's how you do it. It's real easy. If you wish to copy an existing template, you go to Templates and click on Clone. And it'll ask you which one. And you hit OK and it will clone. You'll have two dormers or two decks or whatever you want to do. Now, if you want to set up, say, three kitchen templates, and I've got two above here, number four and five are both kitchens. What I would do is if I would pick the largest one first and... Put that in and you can put it in by square footage or lineal feed of cabinets or price range whatever you want to do and then i would go through and delete out everything so you had a medium-sized kitchen and then delete out a bunch more stuff so you have a small kitchen or you can do it the other way you can start with a small one and then add each one as you go through it you have to kind of pick out a method that works well for you and go ahead and do the process this takes a little experimenting and it doesn't take very long you'll be able to create a template